back up trees. Yeah, if you're in the ground, you may have the main up Common factor, lowest common multiple. What's that? Highest common factor, lowest common multiple. So if I write three and nine, right? What are the factors of three? One and three. What are the factors of nine? Multiples of nine. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, and so on. Okay. 
So what's the lowest common multiple of 3 and 9? LCM, LCM of 3 and 9 is... Drum roll. What is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 9? 18. 18. 18. Why? Where's 18? There's 18. And there's 18. Okay. So that's multiple is like, you know, multiple 3, 6, and so on. Highest common factor. What's the highest common factor of of three and nine? Highest common factor of three and nine is okay, so these are the factors. These are the factors. Factorizing So we've done two C, right? Yeah. Two yeah. yeah. D. Factorizing algebraic expressions. Okay, so let's have a look at this. For example, two x squared plus six x. Two x squared. Two x squared plus six x. All right. Where do we start? Let's, get, let's start with the numbers first. Let's do 2 and a 6. One of the factors, we factor like what are the factors of 2? 1 and 2. two. What are the factors of 6? 1, 2, 3, and 6. So, lowest common, what's the common factor? 2. Right, so I'm going to get 2 out. Is there, a com is there another common x, x squared and x? 2x, x plus 6x. So I'm going to get x out. Because x is common there, x is also common there. Um, get brackets, what's left over? I've taken 2x out, what's left over? Mm. X. X. There's a plus there, so bring a plus down. Now, 2x times what to get to 6x? 3. 3. three. three. Easy. Who, did, who, who can remember doing it last year? Kind of. Kind of? You do another example, sir. Alright. Okay. Another example. Three, right? 
any piece, there's, is there a P, there's no P there. So, take the 3 out, what's left over? Take the 3 out, what's left over? P. P. There's a minus sign, a minus and a plus becomes a? Minus. minus. 3 times what to get to 6? 2. 2. So, 3P minus 6 is equal to 3 brackets P minus 2. Because if you expand it out, 3 times P is 3P. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Okay, another one. Four x squared plus 20xy. Okay, 4x squared plus 20xy, where do we start on that? Okay, factors of 4. What are the factors of 4? 1, 2, and 4. Yep. What are the factors of 20? 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, Yep, yep. So, what's the common there? There's a 4 there, 4 there. So, I'm going to get 4 out. Can I get, is there something else common between these two terms? There's an x there. There's also an x there, so I'm going to take an x out. Anything else common? No. So, 4x times what to get to 4x squared? X. X. There's a plus and a plus, so it's going to be a plus. So 4x times what to get to 20xy? 4 times what to get to 20? 5. 5. x times what to get to xy? y. Because you, you, you got x out, so they, what's left over is 5 plus y. Make sense? If you had that, still, you're still not able to see. Okay, one more, one more, this one you have to do. Okay, over this one. 3y <clears throat> squared minus 12x. How would you factorize that? So, what's the first step? Step one. Find what's common in the two terms. What's common common in two terms? Common in two terms. That is what? Three. Why is that? Because three, what are, what are the factors of three? One and three. Factors of twelve. One, two, three, four, six, twelve. Commons there, commons there, so you know, so three. I'm writing this out so you can see that once after a while you don't even need to write this down, but if you can see it, you can do it straight away. Yeah? So three is common, three is there. So now y squared and x are totally not related to each other. So three, you're taking the three, what's left over? <coughs> y squared. That's minus, bring a minus. And 3 times what to get to 12x? 4. What's that? 4. No. 3 times 4 is only 12. 4x. Okay. You said 3 times 4 is only 12. 3 times 4x is 12x. Make sense? Have a go at 2d. Common both terms.
why you swap lines. Yeah. Oh, because you don't. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get a that is for you for the assessment task. Yeah. Where we It's just an open book chat. Oh, that's just the normal book chat. Not really in the science, but yeah. Well, what is it? Oh, you can't say. Mm, open book. I think that's actually marked. What did you mention, right? Oh, in the brain, I thought it's understood. I don't know what. He didn't say what. Was it with the brain? Did he say? What to the open book? Yeah. Your book. Bring everything. Your calculator. Yeah. Because yeah. open books, so I have to bring stuff. Yeah, of course. You can bring like notes and stuff. Wait, is this the last list? Why don't you do nothing? 
Hey guys, I'm blacking that out, piece of shit information. Attention for two, three minutes. Alright, so open book examinations overview. 
All year 11 students will have an open book examination for their first assessment task in mathematics. What is an open book examination? An open book examination is like any other mathematics examination, except that students are allowed to refer to their mathematics exercise book, folder, not textbook during examination. They are allowed to have it on their desk and refer to it as much as they like. What is allowed to be in a student's mathematics exercise book? Students are allowed to refer to any of the normal work which they've completed during their course. This includes formula, formulae, proofs, explanations, examples they have completed. It also includes any worksheets upon which students have completed work or made notes. What is not allowed? Students may not may not students are not to refer to any handouts and teachers or photocopies from, from other sources upon which they have not made notes. Students are not to refer to their textbook or any photocopies from their textbook. Students are not allowed to use exercise books of other students. Students are not allowed to refer to loose pieces of paper. All extra paper must be bound, glued, or stapled onto the exercise book. Why do we have an open book examination? The reason we have an open book examination is to encourage students to have a neat, tidy, and well-organized exercise book, including all relevant formulae, proofs, explanations, fully marked examples. We hope that this will give, you, give students a strong incentive to keep to keep such an exercise book and to set up a pattern of behaviour that will stand them in good step for their senior studies. We hope that will give you give some students who lack confidence in examination conditions an opportunity to more realistically show them what they can what they know and to help them to transition towards coping with the rigors of mathematics examinations which they will face throughout the rest of their senior studies. Some tips remember referring to your exercise book takes time so you don't have an excess amount during examination. You study for an open book as, if, as the same way as you study for a normal examination. Keep your exercise books in good condition and well ordered. Any questions, come and see me. Okay, Guys, at the end of the day, I guarantee you, as I said before, open book is harder than closed book. So think of it as like a closed book exam. And so if you, if you think of it, I will just bring my notes in, I will bring my exercise book and refer to it. It's going to take time. So just prepare like a prepare like a closed book. Any questions? Okay. It's coming. Oh, the assessment task, the assessment sheet's coming. <coughs> it's in your, it's in your account. I have a look at
Virginia talk that I was going to call you. When, when it says a negative factor, it means you take out the negative number. Okay, so for example, minus 4x, so if a negative, negative factor of minus 4 is what? Negative 4. Or negative 2. Depending on what the other term is. Okay? So you take out the negative sign, and then what's left over? Make sense? For example, Alright, if I got negative 5x plus 20, okay? Take out the negative factor. What's the, what's the factor of 5 and 20? It's 5, yeah? So negative 5 brackets. What's left over? X. X. How do you get to 20 from negative 5? Negative 4. Negative 5 times negative 4 yeah. is 20. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I prefer I mean, I like the iPad Air. This is the iPad Air, the latest iPad Air. Mm. 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 I just heard a chair. I was like, you know, focusing with it. I hear a chair. I look like oh. half the page. Oh. I was going to have Nelson's chair for his back. Oh, yeah. And then Fox like, oh, one-handed chair. And so I wonder if you can. And actually, if you... Ah, I brought up the one-handed chair. And then he's like, I wonder if I can one-handed chair. And then he was like, yeah, one. Do we need to say? Yeah, one. 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 And he's just like, he didn't stop laughing like that much. He's like, alright, you can not He did half the pain. I'm telling you, but I'm pretty sure when they can take this back. They'll flick through it.
Okay, so negative three is negative three, so negative three, what's that done? Y. My, minus three, there's a negative, so it has to be a positive. Plus. So three times two is six, three y squared. Okay? generous with your, with your pay, so when you, when you let it, when you set out, leave a bit of space. Don't be, don't be so uh, tight <laughs> that you're going to barely see it and you need a magnifying glass just to be able to see it. Okay? And so, uh, in an open book exam when you're scanning through and you need a magnifying glass, it's going to be hard. But if you write nice, nice and legible, reasonable size, bit of space, glance through, your eyes are going to pick up quicker. Yeah. Seaman Bowie. Before it ever brought you to Saul G. 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 And then Tom S. Minus. I forget the Q. Minus. The Q. Just one. No, I've got it wrong. I've got it wrong. I've got it wrong. I know it. I know it. That's fine. It is fucking out. It's two. It is four. That is. It's six. It's two. So it's four. Yes. I said it was five. If I get the right, but it's Yes, seven, eight, 
we have five minutes to go for the bell. So, so my homework, if you haven't finished your work, you have already complete uh, 2D for my work. Uh, if some of you have completed, that has really well done, then you can put your time at home. We're going to have some work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is this, sir? 